Okay, so this is the fourth time I've tried to record this video now. Just, um, keep fucking up because I suck at live commentary. Anyway, this is just going to be an update video, nothing too special. I'm going to be talking about just, uh, Hunter and, uh, what I'm going to do after Hunter. That's basically it. So Hunter, I want to say, is a great skill. Hunter is uh, really dynamic, really fun. The black chin PKers always keep me entertained. It's always really funny seeing some guy in a water battle staff. I think just staff of water. Try to TPU and uh, seeing him not be able to land a splash. Always a good time. In addition to that, Hunter is just a pretty fast skill, so even though I don't play a ton of hours, I'm still getting quite a lot of XP uh, throughout the weeks, and that's definitely motivating to see that I'm already 50 mil, just about. Uh, if I were doing something like mining, I could see it being uh, pretty demotivating, but I don't think that I will do general mining straight, probably just for that reason. And, uh... Yeah, for Hunter, I am gonna do it straight. I'm just, like, pretty set on it. I don't think I'm gonna feel like skill hopping at all during it, and... For me, it's probably best I get it out of the way as soon as possible, because uh, one less skill that I'm gonna be interrupted during means I'm gonna be looking forward to um, doing other skills afterwards. So, just a positive for me in terms of motivation. Other skills I'll probably skill hop, maybe even quite frequently. I think we're gonna have to gonna skill hop a lot of um, Bibles and gather yeah, XP. So I could do like um, I don't know, twenty mil mining at a time, and then do some Bibles. Maybe skill hop to a different gather, like I go fish for a while or something. And definitely, I'm looking forward to doing something like fishing or mining. I always thought those skills look fun, and I'm looking forward to trying out swimming. I won't be doing it right away, because when I finish Hunter, I want to train at already for a while, so I can get some Rex on my alts for uh, Dragon Slayer 2. My plan pretty much for money is to do uh, Rune Dragons on both alts that I have right now. Uh, this alt right here, and another alt that I made uh, somewhat recently. I uh, recently I got uh, base 70 melee, so it's coming along quite nicely. Yeah, basically Artie will give me a good opportunity to get all those questing skill requirements that I need for um, DS2, and hopefully Rune Dragons are very fun and nice money maker, which I think they will be. Seems to be a general consensus of what I've heard. I'm definitely going to enjoy doing those a lot more than I would doing Zora, just because I don't know how to do Zora, so if I wanted to um, do that, I'd have to learn the rotations and everything, and that's just not very uh, fun sounding to me, even though it is going to be pretty easy with like a Tebow. I would just rather play two Rune Dragon Alts at a time. During Hunter, I found that like it's become a lot easier to um, do other things on the side. At first, I was able to just listen to music basically, or I guess talk in VC or something, not that I do that very often nowadays. But as time has moved on, I found myself able to uh, pay attention to shows and also basically just look at stuff on the side. Like I can read uh, lecture notes and stuff like that. That's definitely been very helpful with um, uh, managing time uh, for school and stuff like that. I've also been playing some visual novels that I've had uh, in the backlog for a while now. I haven't really touched those since uh, before I started playing old school again. And I think those are going to keep me going uh, during those long hours of Hunter. Particularly on the uh, weekends when I don't have much else to do and I just hunt all day. That and streaming. I'm going to try to stream a bit more. Uh, I haven't really been getting any viewers or anything, but I've just been enjoying turning on the broadcast and uh, I think I'm about to be attacked.
<laughs> anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna be trying to stream black chains a bit more. Uh, should be okay. Like, I don't have like a lot of plans to. Uh, I don't know. Not stream it, I guess. I think I got fold. Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna tank to edge for a bit. I don't feel like going to hobble goblins. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, streaming, visual novels, music. Um, hopefully I can get into a good VC and chat with some people. But Vision CC is kind of dead. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am in Vision now. I think I was in my last video. I'm not really sure. But yeah, Vision has been keeping me going. It's been pretty fun. Um, even though it's not very active, I do enjoy, like, just generally uh, being in a clan. I find it pretty fun. Okay, so that's about it for, um, Black Chins. Oh, I got on Skull. Yeah, it's been a while since I, uh, encountered a clan. Surprisingly. I think since the, uh, I'm not sure, was it the Rev Cave nerf or whatever? I think they did that a couple of days ago. I think the clans are going to be, um, uh, coming back to Chins. But it's been nice for the past week or so. Not really too many uh, clans hopping by. Not too many PKers in general. Yeah, I just had to use like a full invent of brews right there. Anyway, I don't have too much else to say. I was just going to comment on like being in the clan and uh, just sort of casually interacting with other community people. Uh, yep. I guess that's about it this, for this video. I'm just gonna keep on hunting and probably will not make another ramble video anytime soon unless I have some new stuff I want to say. Yeah, see ya.